I can give the soup and the how we're doing, what we're doing away all day long because we will execute faster and quicker than everybody else. This is our weekly behind the scenes look at running a growing Chicagoland IT support company. As usual, another busy week, uh, team meeting this week. On this big growth strategy, just a lot of work getting done towards the bigger goal. So we're adding new team members, we are interviewing every single week. We're bringing on new customers, we're meeting with new prospective customers, and we just continue to do more of the same to get us to that bigger goal. Two new sales meetings this week, talking with prospective customers. The biggest things that you know we bring to the table is a fast and friendly help desk that answers the phone and takes care of their issues when they call. It's always exciting meeting with prospective clients, not from a sales perspective, really just having a good dialogue and a good conversation. Either being able to help them along with technology or their issues, warning them and educating them on these cybersecurity issues so that maybe they take something out of there to help protect their business. But it's always fun to tell our story and get in front of as many people as I can. So we love helping companies alleviate them from their technology issues and we'd love to help more. So we built a client referral program. You refer us a client, they sign up you get $500 Amex gift card. So we're on the search for two new technical people to add to the team, entry level help desk, bench work. So if you know anybody with a technical aptitude or somebody who loves to play around with technology, send them to us, goleadingit.com slash apply. You'll love the espresso we provide you. <laughs> With all the news in cybersecurity, education and awareness is probably our most important task. So we're tripling down on our marketing to get the message out there, get awareness, get education pieces out in front of people to make them aware of the different issues that are happening in technology, in their business, uh, and what have you. Over the last year, we've made two huge changes in our business, a big focus on security from our clients, and we've created a program and additional tools and services to that called Workplace Secure. And then we've created our security operations team where we're looking internally at all the different things that we're doing, how we're going about it, how we're locking down our systems, all for the betterment of the, the safety and security of us, but not only that, our clients as well. So a lot of changes and a lot of things happening because of the cybersecurity issues that we see on a weekly basis, we're constantly adjusting and protecting against those things for us and our clients. Back to all the meetings again this week, kind of reorganized my calendar for some quick 30 minute meetings, some check-ins, some regroups with the different teams and departments in the business. Quickly checking in with them, making sure they have what they need to kind of continue again our growth strategy, or if there's anything that, you know, hey, did we follow up and get this done from last week? So reorganizing those meetings, tightening them way down to be, you know, 30, 45 minutes for efficiency, keeping things rolling, keeping people accountable, but then also if there's anything that I I need to do it's brought to my attention top of mind it's fascinating i think in business and in life it's not about the recipe right somebody could give you the recipe how, do, how are you so successful in business what are you doing that's right how are you marketing how are you selling yourself all that stuff it's about the execution right so i can give the soup and the recipe and the how we're doing what we're doing away all day long because we will execute faster and quicker than everybody else where they won't be able to catch up anyway so big company in the community, General Kinematics, uh, they're doing a sponsorship program with MCC. So if a student goes through a welding program, which is pertinent to their industry, uh, General Kinematics is gonna give $250 to that student. Super cool, super easy, super something we could, should be doing, right? I think I'm fascinated by young people at the high school, college age level, you know, when they are able to test and try and maybe find their passions. You know, when I was in high school, we didn't have an entrepreneurship program. We didn't have a lot of the things that the high schools and the colleges do now, really to get your feet wet. Hey, do I even like this? Or am I gonna be spinning my wheels for a year or two going down a path that maybe I wanna do something differently? And so I love that, getting kids um, you know, acclimated or being able to test and try. And then I really love young entrepreneurship. There are a ton of kids at the 18 year old level that have a ton of great ideas that should be followed through to execution. But instead, the focus is go to college, go to college, go to college, and they can do both 
or I think they could seriously pursue that business and make things happen. You know, there was a kid in co-working, 18 years old, on his 18th birthday, goes, gets his corporation set up with the state. The next year has a web design marketing business with four of his friends, you know, and they're rocking and rolling with clients. He went off to college, but fascinating and amazing that he was able to do that. I think the opportunity is there. Young people could come and work for us. They could work with other organizations and other businesses, even in the 17, 18, 19 year old realm, whilst they're going to classes, whilst they're getting an education, they're getting their feet wet, learning, is this a place where I can see myself working every day in this industry? You know, the pace of our industry is huge. That's not right for some people. They're like, man, this is, it's too much every single day. It's like putting out fires, but they get to come in, get their feet wet and then learn this is or isn't for me. All the while they're going in and learning the day-to-day -day stuff. They get to put it into practice when they come to a place and in internship or whatever. So selfishly like keeping the talent in the community, also selfishly keeping the talent with us because in a job market where unemployment is so low, it's super hard to find new talent. Now we're tapping into new sources. GoLeadingIT.com for more information on leading IT and what we do for technology support. Follow us on all the socials. I do a ton of nuggets and rants for cybersecurity and technology news.